Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast with the Silvers. Today is June 14th, 2023. The devotional today is called, What is Your Response? From Hebrews 4.16, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And you're in Hebrews 4. Mm-hmm. Therefore, I'm sorry. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. For we which have believed do enter into rest, as he believed, as he, I'm sorry, as he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest, seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of unbelief. Again, he limiteth a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. For he that has entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than the two, any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us fa hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Man, that's some really good scripture. Friends, it is the purpose of God that you should rise into the place of sonship. Don't miss the purpose God has in his heart for you. Realize that God wants to make you the first fruits, James 1.18, and separate you unto himself. God has lifted some of you up again and again. It is amazing how God in his mercy has restored and restored, and whom he called, these he also justified in whom he justified, these he also glorified. Romans 8.30 The glorification is still going on and is going to exceed what it is now. Within your heart, there surely must be a response to this call. It does not matter who is against us. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Verse 31 If there are millions against you, God has purposed it and will bring you right through to glory. Human wisdom has to stand still. It is with the heart one believes unto righteousness. Romans 10.10 10. Brothers and sisters, what, is, what do you want God to do for you? That is the question. What have you come here for? We have seen God work in horribly diseased bodies. Our God is able to heal and to meet all of our needs. Scripture says, He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Romans 8.32 Do you need to be healed of a critical spirit? The spirit warns, 
Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? Verse 33. I tell you, it is bad business for the man who harms God's anointed. First Chronicles 16, 21, 22. Who is he who condemns? I thought I read that wrong. Romans 8, 34. How much of that there is today? Brother condemning brother, everybody condemning one another. You also go about condemning yourself. The devil is the accuser of the brethren. Revelations 12, 10. But there is power in the blood of Christ to free us, to keep us, and to bring us healing. Do not let the en enemy cripple you and bind you. Why don't you believe God's word? There is a blessed place for you in the Holy Spirit. Instead of condemning you, Christ is interceding for you. Rest in this promise. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39. Beloved, you are in a wonderful place. Because you are sons and joint heirs, you have a right to healing for your bodies and to be delivered from all the power of the enemy. Thought for today. Because God has called and chosen you, he wants you to know that you have power with him. Hmm. He's called you. That's right. He's called you. We must believe. Thanks for joining us. See you tomorrow.